If you want the delicious Italian flavors of a lasagna, but without the extra carbs, <laughs> this zucchini lasagna is for you. With layers of thinly sliced zucchini, a hearty ground meat sauce, and tons of ricotta and mozzarella cheesy goodness. And if you've tried a recipe like this before and ended up with a watery mess, don't you worry. I've got a few simple tricks I'm gonna show you to make sure that that doesn't happen to you again. Oh yeah, and I'm London and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make healthier spins on classic recipes. So let's jump straight in and get to cooking. The order you prepare this dish is pretty important. It's key that you start with the zucchini first, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. You'll need two pounds or about four to five medium-sized zucchini squash. First, trim and remove the ends from all of the zucchini. Then, cut each one lengthwise into four to five slices that are about one fourth inch thick. Not too much thinner than this or else they get too soggy while baking. Lay the zucchini flat on the cutting board and sprinkle with half of a teaspoon of salt. Let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then watch as the magic happens. The salt will draw out the moisture from the zucchini, which you can then dab off with a paper towel. Try to do this at least every five to 10 minutes to ensure you remove as much as you can. While that's resting, let's go ahead and get started on that ground meat sauce. Place a large skillet over medium heat and add one tablespoon of oil, along with one cup of finely diced sweet onion. Saute for two to three minutes or until the onion becomes tender. Add three cloves of finely minced garlic and continue sauteing for an additional 30 seconds. Another trick to make sure the lasagna doesn't come out too watery is to use a leaner ground beef such as a 90-10. The leaner it is, the less fat it will render off while cooking. Push the onion and garlic to the side of the skillet and add one pound of ground beef. Ground turkey, venison, or even chicken can also be used. Cook for seven to eight minutes or until the meat is cooked through and no longer pink. Drain off any excess liquid if needed. Using a potato masher, mash the meat until it forms fine crumbles. Pour in a 16 ounce jar of marinara sauce, along with 3 fourths teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of black pepper, and my secret ingredient, a pinch or two of nutmeg. This spice is so subtle, but it will give the sauce a lovely depth of flavor. Stir it all together until it's well mixed. Simmering the sauce is another way to prevent a watery result. If you stopped right now and used the sauce, it would be too liquidy. Instead, you wanna turn up the heat to high and bring the sauce to a boil. Once it starts popping, turn the heat to medium low and let it simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. You'll see at the end of this time that the sauce has thickened up nicely. While the sauce is simmering, we'll whisk together that ricotta cheese layer. In a medium-sized bowl, add 16 ounces of a full-fat ricotta cheese. Avoid using part skim as this will add excess moisture to the dish. One large egg, one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Mix this all together until it's smooth and well combined. Once the sauce is done cooking, it's time to layer everything up. But before you start, make sure you spray a large nine by 13 inch baking dish with a bit of nonstick cooking spray. Pour in a few spoonfuls of the meat sauce onto the bottom of the pan, and then layer half of the zucchini slices on top. It's okay if a few of them are overlapping. Add dollops of the ricotta cheese mixture over the slices. Carefully spread it out and top with half of the meat sauce. Then you'll simply repeat the layers. Zucchini slices, ricotta cheese, and ending with the meat sauce. Lastly, sprinkle one and a half to two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese on top. 
Bake the lasagna at 375 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes, uncovered, or until the zucchini is tender and the cheese is lightly golden. Let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before serving with a few leaves of basil and a sprinkle of fresh parsley. Mmm. Mmm. All of those delicious Italian and lasagna flavors making me want to do my happy dance. Are you honestly, you cannot even tell that that's zucchini in there and not pasta. But for you, if you have not gotten your fill of zucchini yet, then I've got you covered. You've got to check out these baked zucchini fries right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.